Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now then, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mod in a two-part video series. Okay, so this has been pre-recorded multiple times for me to get this right for you. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it right this time. Trust me, I've made some mistakes along the way. So let's crack on, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to make a mod in No Man's Sky. It's very quite straightforward. What I need to do is I've set out my folders here in a certain way just to show you a certain thing. Ignore the new folder. I'm just going to be using it on this one. All we're going to be doing in future is using the mbin files and the project files. Okay. You need to download some software as well. I'll be putting links in the description to where you can download these from. Give credit to the authors, please. Give them likes and everything because um, they are awesome people okay so this is going to be creating a basic mod okay in the game okay I have to do it over a two-part series because it's quite a lengthy process to learn and I want to make sure that you know what you're doing and so that you don't break your game okay so what we're going to do is first thing we need to do before we look at these these programs here is we need to go into the main game files okay because we're going to need the files aren't we so currently I pinned where they are, but I'm going to go through them step by step of where they are. So you got, I'm in my local disk C, this is where it is, this is where you locate them. Program files times 86, which is on my system. Steam, Steam apps, common, No Man's Sky, game data, then PC banks. That's where they are. So if you pause the screen at any time when you're doing this tutorial, Go, go into your file manager and basically basically you go through it. So is if you haven't done this before, you'll find two folders within here, hopefully. And if you don't, you need to do this. So you're going to find this folder, which is Disable Mods. I don't think I'll be able to put it there. So it'll just go straight to the bottom. Okay. So Disable Mods will be in there. Okay. And Enable Mods will be at the top. Okay. So what you do is you take the Disable Mods one out, place it at the top. If it's not in there, okay, what you do is you copy this one, copy, okay, then you paste it into here, hang on, do, 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 paste, enable, and all you do is you just rename that to disable mods, okay, put your disable mods folder or file into somewhere where you know, I'm going to put mine in my save editor folder, okay, so I know where it is. Okay, it's important that you do that and make sure enable mods is in here because this is where we're going to be installing the mods in the mod folder, which is this one here. As you can see, I've already do I'm already testing on one. Delete that, I don't need it. Okay. So this is where it's going to be, okay? In the mod folder. Okay. So we'll close that down. We don't we'll well, I can leave it open. We'll need it in a second. So what we need to do is I'll show you this. I've already done this because if you look in the MBIM folder, okay. You can see all these PSR, the, these uh, pack files here, okay? So if I move over to this one, as you can see, these are pack files. What you need to do is, you need to highlight them all. So I'll highlight every single one of them. I'll shrink it down. So you highlight every single one of them in here. So I get it up on the screen. So make sure that you do this, okay? Okay, and you highlight every single one of them, okay? Every single one of them, even that and everything, just highlight the whole lot, okay? And then what you need to do is, you need to copy all of them, okay, into your mbim, mbim files, okay? So, I open this up, but I'm going to be using this folder because I've already populated this one. So, this is your mbim files. I don't even know why I highlighted that one. So, it's in here, local disk. So, you go into your local disk, you highlight all of them. But I'm only going to do it with a few to show you what happens. Okay, so basically we'll get to that, but we'll download the software first because it's not going to do anything if you haven't got the software. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll open up the browser, I'll put the links in the description. We need to go to these certain places to download these certain softwares. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to Nexus Mods. Okay, link is in the description. You need to get PS Arc Tool. Okay, you go onto Files. And then you go manual download. Make sure that you've registered with them and logged in and everything. Manual download, it'll download it, okay? 
So that's what you need to do with that one. Then you need to go to GitHub. You need to register with them, okay? And then you need to go to Monkeyman192. Give a big thumbs up to that guy. He is the guy who sorts out the Embing compiler. Absolutely spot on bloke, okay? A lot of people don't know, if a lot of people don't know how to use GitHub, basically don't download from here. That'll just show you the code. Go down here. And if you look, it'll say download, download latest release. Just download that one, okay? That puts it on your desktop. Next one is you're going to need to download a software called Notepad++, okay? Download that, brilliant, download it on, install it and install it onto your desktop, put a, a shortcut, okay? All these links will be in the description of the video for you to do, okay? So we'll go back to the files now. So currently you're in the, the game files. As you remember, uh, local C program files, Steam apps, common, no man's sky game data, PC banks, okay? Important now, so, the, class this one as the this folder here you're going to be putting them into here okay but I've already got them in there so I'm going to put them into this one so I'm op going to open up my new folder okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here this just makes it a little easy for you so I'm going to highlight a few because it takes a while it takes about half an hour to do all these at once so I'll do two of them okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy so you copy them, because don't forget these are your main files. You don't want to cut them. You just copy them. Copy. You go into the folder that you want, and then you paste them. Okay, paste. Okay, as you can see, it's transferring them over to there, to new folder. Now, if you look, I've still got those files there. Look, 9C7, 9C7, 248. Uh, 748 748 so all I've done is I've copied them to that new folder that MBIM folder you're not going to need this now so close that screen well you're not going to need it yet okay so seeing that you've got your programs up here now okay these are called pack files okay so what we need to do is you need to highlight the pack files if you're going to do them all in one big bulk don't forget loads of screens will come up this is only a demonstra demonstration Yours will look like um, a monitor in the matrix, basically. It'd be like about 100 different screens coming up and everything like that. So if you've got a, if you've got a PC with a little RAM, only do them at batches at a time like this. But me, I just banged them all in. It took about 20 minutes to put them, go through them all, okay? What this does is it basically unzips them. So basically, you put this in here like this. Watch. Watch what happens. So it's created these windows, and watch. Can you see it's actually extracting all of the information that's actually on these okay so it takes a while with some of them some of them are absolutely massive okay so basically that's what it does so what i'll do is i'll close that because that's taking too long okay and what it does is it creates folders okay so you keep them in your folder as backup you, you'll need them but when this is done okay so when this is done, I'll delete that folder because I don't need it. So I'll put that in the recycle bin. I don't need that one. So that might take a while. There we go. It's gone in. So now I'm in my nbin files. Okay, so this is the folder that I've transferred them all into. Okay, so what you can see now, what will come up with you is all of these. And these are the unzipped files. Okay, these are what you're going to be programming with. Okay. What you need to do is, when you're actually making your first mod, okay, you need to contract, contact, uh, you need to do these globals here, okay? Can you see these gameplay globals? Okay, I've highlighted them all in blue, okay? They're the best ones because you can start doing modding and going into the folders like this and go in here and go in here and then start modding files and stuff like that, but you have to repack them back to the original source like that and it starts being a bit complicated so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on this okay so excellent so what we've done is we've worked out how to unpack the pack files okay the pack files will be put into this one okay so what we need to do now is we need to find something here okay that we want to alter now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a random one. So let's have a look. So I've done a few of these. So uh, doo -doo -doo, I'm going to find G 
gameplay globals i think it's gameplay globals is usually the the one which a lot of people mess about with so there we go so what i'm going to do is because i want to keep those folders in there i don't want to alter them what i'm going to do is i'm going to do copy this makes it easier for you so you don't have to keep transferring stuff backwards and forwards so I'll copy that to my clipboard and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this one into here these are your projects okay this is your project folder so what we're going to do is we're going to need to unzip this this is an mbin file not a pack file an mbin because when you put it through there it exposes all the mbin files okay so what you need to do now is you need to go and put this into the nbin compiler okay okay watch this and then it converts it to something called an exml file or when you do it it will be an xml file okay so to get it to work as an exm file what will happen is when you click on here this will automatically open up notepad okay notepad plus 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 okay you don't want that so what we'll do is you want to go you want to right click on the actual xml when it comes out for you because it'll be xml what you need to do is you need to do properties and you need to change and then you need to set it as notepad plus plus okay easy okay so you press you press apply okay okay then what happens is it will set then you can open it through notepad plus plus okay so when i click on this now this one here you won't see this okay it'll open to you as binary okay so what you need to do is you need to go into file okay this is important okay you need to save as okay at the end here and you need to change the file extension so we need to put dot e m x l okay so you save it okay come out then what will happen now is that will automatically change to emxl file so you can open it up so that's it so that's what that does okay so then you'll be able to use it as an exml file okay if it doesn't do it automatically already that's what you have to do now that is basically how you open up the files these are the game files these are what you change and I'll show you this before I end this video because it's getting long now so what you do is these are all the built-in game files with all the values you can see unlock slots and stuff like that the next video is I'm going to show you how to create the mod and turn it back into a pack file so that you can test it okay dead easy isn't it so there we go guys that is that video that's first part one tutorial of how to create a mod okay I hope you thought this was interesting and useful okay if you're a modder please put your comments and feedbacks to see if I've actually missed anything in this video um, the community will uh, uh, help maybe I've made a couple of mistakes along the way but yes that's how you do it guys so there we go so that's part one done creating part two if it's up online now Go to part two, we'll create the mod, we'll, then we'll put it into the game. And I won't test it, that'll be up to you, and then that's it. <coughs> well, there you go, guys. That's part one of how to create a mod. Do this at your own risk, you're going to be altering the game files. If anything breaks or anything gets damaged, it's not my fault. I've done the tutorial explaining how it's done. Basically, it's your own fault for basically messing it up. So there you go guys well i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you know the content creator who wants to do a similar video please give me a mention and uh, there you go well, guys well thanks so much for watching the video and i'll see you on part two see you later bye